Okay, so what we're doing here is a, a test of the Lisa mattress in terms of its uh, thermal um, and heat retention and um, dissipation properties. So what we're going to do is I'm just going to hold my hand here with some moderate pressure on this mattress to make sure I'm, I'm penetrating um, beyond just the cover of the mattress. And uh, I'm going to do that for one minute, and then we're going to see... Um, both how much heat was absorbed from my hand, as well as um, how quickly it takes, uh, how quickly that heat dissipates, and uh, the, you see the mattress surface return to its normal temperature. So, just for context, um, the ambient temperature of the mattress is around uh, 79. Um, so that's probably a reflection of uh, the room temperature, or something roughly approximating that. I guess that's slightly higher than room temperature. Okay, so it's been one minute, and now I'm going to just leave my hand in the frame for context. You can see that the temperature got up to maybe 85 or so, 6 degrees or so above room temperature, and or I'm sorry, above ambient temperature. And already it's getting um, down to uh, only a few degrees above, uh, not even one minute later here. So you see it dissipating pretty quickly here. So here we are at the almost one minute mark and uh, the handprint is almost, you almost can't see it, and we're, we're vacillating between, you know, ambient temperature and a couple degrees above. So that was pretty quick relative to a lot of other mattresses that we've tested. Uh, so here we go. I mean, now it's gotten to the point where it's just almost entirely... Um, gone, and we're only a minute and a half in there. I'm going to go ahead and just call it here since uh, the handprint is essentially gone.